The first trial in the Schlitterbahn water park tragedy started today, more than two years after 10-year-old Caleb Schwab lost his life while riding the world's tallest water slide. That slide, Baruch, has been closed ever since. And many people are facing criminal charges, including two men who worked in maintenance at the park. Our Caroline Sweeney is live with what happened on the first day of their trial. Caroline? Well, Brad, today was the very, very beginning of this trial process. Jury selection happened today. Now there were 60 jurors pulled for a pool, and I just learned within the last half an hour that the final jury has been selected for this trial, and opening statements are expected to begin tomorrow. Now these are the two men charged. John Zalsman and David Hughes worked in the maintenance department at the park when Caleb Schwab died there in 2016. Each of them is charged with one count of interference interference with law enforcement. That interference happened after Schwab's death. Court documents say the two men told investigators a brake mat was never put on the second hill of Verruch, but evidence from June of 2016 showed a mat on that hill. Now, even though this case is being tried here in Wyandotte County, Kansas Attorney General Derek Schmidt's office is handling the prosecution. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV5 News. Thanks, Caroline. The co-owner of Schlitterbahn Water Park, Jeff Henry, and ride designer John Shuley are charged with second-degree murder for Schwab's death. They have not yet gone to trial, and operations manager Tyler Miles is facing a lesser charge of manslaughter. As for the ride itself, it is still standing tonight, but likely not for much longer. In August, a judge said it's time for Baruch to come down, and that can happen as early as next month.